What's up, y'all? Welcome to Black Tree on TV, your number one source for urban entertainment. I'm your girl, Alex Hudgens, and there's so much going on right now in Hollywood. But never fear, Black Tree TV is here. Whether it's music or movies, we've got you covered. You know how we do? So let's get started. First, we catch up with Terry Crews, who talks about his goofy new movie, Blended, starring Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore. Then, we talk with the two stars of the new X-Men movie, Michael Fassbender and James McAvoy. Plus, we got you exclusive access at this year's Billboard Music Awards. Finally, Kevin Hart challenges Eddie Murphy, and Eddie Murphy fires right back. No, it isn't a Twitter war, it's better. We have both comedic superstars defending their crown right here on Black Tree on TV. Now, let's see what our friend Terry Crews is up to. You know he's always doing something crazy. Jamal Finkley talks to him about his new movie, Blended, where he kind of steals the show from Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore. Check it out. Look at that. Africa. Sun, sand, safaris. My boys would give anything to go on a vacation like this. No more dating for me. It's time and money I should be spending with my kids. Time for spring break. You gonna leave me hanging? Boom. Pretty cool, Mom. What the? What'd you see doing here? Is this a sick dream? Do I have a new mommy? Isn't this place fantastic? So romantic. We are not dating. My mom is freaking hot. Ew. No, not hot. That's just wrong. This is so. Terry Crews. I mean, first you 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 so multi-dimensional. You're funny on TV. You're funny in commercials. You're funny in movies. And I'm wondering, like, how do you just, like, keep it from running out? Like, you, you're so busy, it's just like every time you deliver on screen, it still feels fresh, Terry Crews. Well, you know, um, I, I heard, this is funny, because Frank Sinatra one time told his son, he was singing, and he said, if you don't do it with energy, he said, don't even try it. Don't even, he said, you are, you, get out of here. Yeah. And he basically kicked his son out, you know. <laughs> uh, that's how I feel. Like. You're not allowed to be in this business unless you do it with all you got. Right. He's right. not allowed. I'm like, you know, there's no excuse for mailing anything in. There's no excuse for, you know, now my thing is I, I overact. I, I like overacting. You know, over I can go big, real big. <laughs> but you know, I can all but I like to also show the subtlety. You know, like when I did newsroom or even with Brooklyn Nine Nine, I'm on a cast with you know that everybody has to work together. So you can't just try to steal the scene. But well, Adam Sandler said, dude, dude, steal everything in this movie. Go, go. And he never let, he said, it's like when uh, I work with Keenan Ivory Wayans and white chicks, they were like, dude, steal it, yeah. take it, go. And they say, and they, and I look at them, I'm like, really, you sure? You want me, to, you, I'm about to put it on you now. You do know that, right? They're like, I said, there's no going back after this. They were like, go. And I was like, oh, yeah. You yeah. gotta teach me how to do that. I tried. It no, just, no, it all you gotta do, do is put your hands together and press them together. Press them again. See, I still got the it's happening. You, it takes practice. It's it takes practice. But see, the problem is, you probably had girlfriends and all that. Me, I had no girlfriends growing up. It was a lot of loneliness. I'd be sitting in the mirror like, until I found my wife and I kept her and I said, now it's all good. <laughs> all right, Jamal, good stuff. Terry Crews is definitely a goober, but I think we'll keep him. Love that guy. Speaking of guys that I love, we have two more hotties. The stars of X-Men, Days of Future Past, Michael Fassbender and James McAvoy sat down with Sean Edwards to talk about the new movie and going back in time. They're here. Time's up. That's what. Good to see you guys. We're, we're trying to figure out was how, many, how many years ago we just did this, right? Three years ago, I think. Yeah. Three years. Yeah. yeah. Well, welcome back. Yeah, these things have a way of making you feel. There, there. Yeah, there you guys got you, grooming you, making you look. Looking at for me. Yeah, yeah, making you look good. That's right. No, it's good. Welcome, welcome back, man. It's good to good to. <laughs> <laughs> now it's good to do it again, and I like this movie for several reasons because for like the fans, it's like it's great. Like, 
wow, this is what you want to see. But even if you aren't, haven't been a part of the process or seen the previous movies, you can jump right in because it goes in all these different directions and sort of like connects everything in a really cool way. Yeah, it's got a, it's got a nice. <laughs> I'm already starting badly. This is the first one of the day. I'm like, how you? You don't know where I'm going. Yeah, right, right. Frankly, it's brilliant. And that's all you need to know, and we're in it. Um, yeah, no, it, it sets up the story pretty well about what's the state of the world and the state of the X-Men and um, where they are and how high the stakes are right at the beginning. Um, so people who aren't familiar with it can jump right in, like you say, which is just me saying the exact same thing as you just said. No, but they'd rather hear from you. They don't care what I have to say. They might hear what you have to say and what you have to say. So what do you have to say? So, but yeah, look at the state of you. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think it doesn't give you uh, really, uh, say if you don't know uh, anything about X-Men, I don't think it gives you really time to uh, Think about that, or worry about that. I think it, you know, the, from the beginning, it's you know, it's all intensive and it's engaging. Obviously, you know, there's jeopardy for the mutants in the future, extreme jeopardy, <clears throat> and that's a good sort of starting point, I think, to engage the audience in, in what's going on. Because definitely from the beginning, you feel like there's there's a there's a pressure, there's a time pressure for them to get the job done and sort of you know complete the mission as it were. Are you two fans of this whole comic book world, this whole universe that just explodes on screen these days? I mean, there's so many different types of comic book movies. Are you into that sort of thing? Um, I enjoy it as much as uh, uh, anything else. I never really read a lot of comics when I was a kid, so I never really got into into that. Um, but yeah, I enjoy it as, as much as anything if it's done right. Um, you know, I think it can be definitely a world where one can escape into for two hours and go on a ride and and be entertained. I think these films should be entertaining. So, where would you go if you could go back in time? Ancient Rome, the Roaring Twenties, the 1960s? Tell us all about it on our Facebook page. I want to know. Coming up, we take you to the Billboard Music Awards. Plus, Eddie Murphy and Kevin Hart go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. It's battle time. And Kevin Hart responds to a challenge in classic Kevin Hart style. Next, right here and only right here on your number one source for urban entertainment, Black Tree on TV. You're watching Black Tree on TV, only on Soul of the South.